Hey, just doing a video here on the Bissell uh, spot clean. This is the auto or the car detailing one. Um, just see me as this is kind of a yeah, pretty much a completely car enthusiast channel. Um, I just bought this to clean the seats in my car, which is in the Jackaroo, uh, and any other car I've got with cloth seats or carpet floors. Um, but the main reason is, you know, when I bought the car. Uh, when I bought the car back, should I say, it, it had a lot of dust in it from, from dirt roads. And, um, you know, I vacuumed the seats multiple times, but you, you just kind of look at them and go, mm, they still look dirty. So, being that they're like a light grey seat. So this is the Bissell, um, which pretty much what this does is, and by the way, I'm not getting paid to make this video, I'm just doing it because I, I bought this and we're going to see how good it is. Um, pretty much I bought this, uh, what it does is it heats up water in one side um, with a little bit of the additive so I've got the additive there and uh, then you spray it on the seats and it vacuums it out so it's pretty much like a like a vacuum cleaner that also you know steam or sprays out a you know a liquid on it onto the seat so one of the tools is this one here this one can obviously what these bristles do will, will scrape along the seat as you're vacuuming and uh, so that does like little corners we have like right in the corners of the seat and then just a flat edge. Uh, we've also got like a, a big head, which is more like a normal looking vacuum head uh, for just doing the general seat or the floor. All right, so I got mine out of the packaging here and I didn't even know, but it does actually come with a small bottle of two different fluids and I've just got a big one anyway um, for in the future when I do obviously more stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure you'll go through it pretty quick. Uh, I, would, oh, I would assume so. Uh, here's the unit out of the box. It is considerably bigger than you think. So if I can show you my hand there next to it, it is actually kind of bigger than, than you would think it is if you look at the photos of them. Oh, owner's manual, which I'll worry about later. Uh, this is the actual vacuum slash spray. So I'm pretty sure you just obviously spray the stuff out of there and then otherwise it just is a vacuum. And uh, so that's, that's, that's everything that's in the kit. I will assemble it now and, uh, and then we'll move over to the car. Here are my seats as they are now. Uh, Excuse the flickering from the uh, from the light, but as you can see, they're not filthy by any means. Um, I just give them a quick vacuum then. Uh, they're already pretty clean anyway, but we've given them a vacuum. As you can see, there's no major stains on them or anything. Um, they're not too bad. The driver's seat is a little bit dirtier than the passenger, but again, not much. They're not bad. But if you whack the seat, you'll get a heap of dust come out. But um, anyway, what I'm going to do is the Bissell's got uh, warm water in one side of it with the formula stuff whatever and uh, we're just going to spray it onto the seat so we'll turn her on you can see it's all wet and I will say I used the wrong spray tool <laughs> I used the, the long one which just kind of sprays long this one on the other hand actually gives you a fan spray which is what I should have used. So uh, we'll show you this one, ready? One thing I will say, it's not quiet, that's for sure. It's pretty noisy. I have got it in the car, but it is pretty noisy. As you can see, though, that gives me an actual spray over the thing, a nice fan. And now that's pretty evenly wet. And so now I can ready to vacuum that one off as well. the back and the bottom of the driver's seat. Um, probably used near half the liquid just to do that. Uh, admittedly I did have to do the bottom of this kind of twice the first time I sprayed it wrong so I did it with a proper fan spray and then did it again and I will show you the amount of liquid that we've got in there. So we've got the bottom full there 
but as you can see the collar of it, which is uh, gross, <laughs> completely, completely brown. So it, it is definitely sucking dirt out of these seats. Yeah, um, that weren't again when you looked at them too bad. So um, obviously they're wet right now still. Um, they're, yeah, definitely wet. Um, it obviously doesn't suck all the water out of it. So continuing on, I'm actually still on the driver's seat. Decided to vacuum it about three more times over and definitely got a lot more water out. Now we're actually probably got about four or five centimeters worth of water. I haven't sprayed much more. Um, I'd buy like one or two little spots I wanted to redo. Um, and I definitely got it drier. And uh, your seat is 100% looking cleaner for sure. Uh, compared to compared to how it did when it started. This was the worst seat obviously. So for tonight I have used up one uh, side of the liquid um, Which the tank you don't fill by the way you fill it to about two-thirds um, I've used one full tank to do the driver's seat uh, properly Let's say that so I have done it a few times over it and uh, and really got the you know until it was coming out pretty clean and I've also done this one side uh, Which I think uh, you can tell the difference already too that it's a bit more gray uh, especially compared to the other one there. So uh, I haven't done any of that or that. I think the amount of liquid that it comes with uh, in the box would probably be enough to do your car once, uh, to do all your seats and probably do the floor carpet would be about how much it comes with. So that's pretty good. Uh, so anyway guys, that is all I'm gonna do for tonight. Uh, and I'm just gonna show you. So that is the actual bottle. And as you can see, we actually fill it to water there, formula there, so it actually is probably only just over half of the actual bottle that you use. So we're going to take the dirty one out now. Okay, no mess, which is nice. Uh, it is pretty damn dirty. I'll hold it up to the light. Uh, we can see it is most definitely not clean. We'll pour it out now into the sink and have a look-see as to what we're getting out. Pretty pretty filthy and I'm telling you right now my seats were <laughs> not that bad I thought so that's that really shows you uh, how much dirt this thing's actually getting out which is again pretty astonishing I'm like wow so there you go that's that's just the driver's seat and one back seat which the back seats weren't that bad uh, so probably I would say most of that dirt is just the driver's seat and about 24 hours um, so the next night seats are dry and they definitely look cleaner uh, than they did before so again excuse I don't know why this uh, LED light makes the light camera flicker it's not to the eye but um, it is it is definitely looking cleaner nice and gray uh, compared to the other seat uh, which is some just more dirtier patches uh, in it again as I said my seats weren't filthy but um, it is still pretty surprising the amount of dirt that I got out of them so tonight I'm just gonna do the other seat and uh, do the other two back seats last night I did this one and uh, I didn't do those two, so I'm going to get that done. And, you know, at some point I'll probably end up doing the carpets as well. Uh, but for right now, I think this will be <laughs> enough. It takes a while to do. It took me about an hour last night to do the front seat and that seat with filming involved as well. Obviously, it wouldn't take as long if I didn't stop to keep filming. But, um, yeah, no, I'm pretty impressed with the unit. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do all this. I'm not going to film any more uh, while I'm doing it, but I will still show you how much dirt I get out of uh, the passenger seat and the other two back ones as well. I've completely done the uh, the back seat now too. Um, as you can well see, <laughs> the the light uh, the light does cast some weird shadows too, but um, it, it it didn't it was nowhere near as dirty. The back seats actually were pretty good. Um, it was probably a light tinge if there was any dirt really. They were pretty good. Mm. So overall, the car is looking much cleaner and more the peace of mind as well of knowing how much dirt I actually got out of my front seats. Um, those the back weren't too bad, but the front uh, definitely got some dirt out of them. So the upholstery looks pretty nice now. Anyway, guys, that's uh, that's about it for this video. That's a kind of a review slash use of the Bissell, um, which as I said, I got this one from Super Cheap Auto, um, but you can get them other places as well, like Harvey Normans or whatever. Uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for more. Uh, not more car detailing, more car audio, because uh, next thing up, I'm building new tweeters. I'm also building new woofers. So we're scrapping the Pioneers, um, which have done really well, but we're going to be going to some focal gear. All right, and just finally, this is the liquid from the uh, passenger seat slash the other two back seats, which isn't as bad as the driver's seat side, but still pretty, pretty filthy.
Yeah. And that's that.